This, this event is all of his worlds colliding. And I think that's incredibly important. And he wants to talk to you guys tonight. So please, if we can give Brian your undivided attention, I think um, it's going to be pretty impactful. I've got a speech prepared, but before we get to that, I've got to confess, I'm a little concerned. Um, I'm worried about how I'm going to get home tonight. <laughs> I'm the only Seeing bastards in this room. Sometimes you try to write a song and it doesn't work, and sometimes it just comes to you. So um, while he was talking, I got this idea in my head. Uh, went home that night, played it on my iPhone, and uh, eventually finished it. So. Uh, Brian, here's for you, buddy. sacrifices you must have made to be here tonight, especially those of you who have traveled from out of town to be here. So, again, a big thank you to everyone for sharing your evening with me and Team Believe. I would also like to thank each one of you for your generous financial contribution to Team Believe. When the Team Believe Committee told me that they wanted to host this fundraiser, I was reluctant to agree. I knew that we would be asking a lot of you. I also had my own personal reservations about a fundraiser that was designed in large part to benefit me and my family. The Team Belief Committee understood my concerns, but they also knew that you were eager to help, so... They asked me to set aside my personal feelings and to simply rely upon your kindness. And, so, I did. And, as I expected, the committee asked a lot of you. And, wow, you did not disappoint. Your generosity far exceeded our expectations. I am truly humbled. Thank you. Thank the God of in the course of our careers. Rhonda, by her immense talent and determination, and me, by sheer dumb luck. <laughs> and although 
our careers have been rewarding, those rewards would be shallow and meaningless if it had not been for the extraordinary character of the people we have had the privilege to work with. To our friends at Strauss Troy and St. Elizabeth, thank you for your generosity, and more than that, thank you for your friendship. As for the Jafardini family, what can I say? Although overwhelming and immensely humbling, your generous gift to team believe did not surprise me. It is emblematic of a lifetime of giving, and it is a reflection of the generosity of spirit exhibited by your beloved mother Alma. It is comforting to know that she is in the presence of our Lord, and with her friend, my grandmother, by her side, she is praying for all of us gathered here this evening. God bless you. Every day I spend together, my love grows a little more. When there's storms out on our ocean, you're my lighthouse on the shore. And life is full of mysteries that we will never thing you can be sure of, things don't turn out like we planned. If I lose my voice, you would still know that I love you. Should my legs grow weak, I'll still be standing by your side. surrounded by so many friends as talented and selfless as you. For months, you have remained tirelessly committed to the success of this event. I've watched as you've planned, as you've worked, and as you've celebrated each donation. The love and compassion with which you have gone about your work has so deeply affected me that there are times when I've been overcome by emotion. I am eternally grateful. And I am so proud to call you friends. The things we take for granted, time can take away. I will always stay with you. Either 
and the love and support that you have so freely given me, Rhonda, and my kids have been an inspiration. With God and all of you in my corner, I know that I have nothing to worry about. I also have nothing to complain about. God has blessed me in so many wonderful ways. And while it's true that A, L, S, might take away all my physical gifts and abilities, the truly spectacular gifts in life, the gifts of great faith, great family, and great friends. I have those in great abundance. Your presence here this evening is an affirmation of those great gifts, and it gives me the courage and confidence I need to look a l s squarely in the eye and declare. I am not afraid, I am not alone, and we will fight. Thank you, and God bless. Standing by your side 